Hi guys, we're here again just to talk about our fantasy draft that's about to kick off. Uh, one thing I do want to go over is the don'ts of the draft. Now, these are things that will annoy anyone that is involved. And one thing that always gets me is the last second pick. We've got 60 seconds to make that one pick. Mm. And they wait till 58 seconds. You know who you're going to go after. And don't say you don't, because you do. Because you've probably seen the pick list right there and you can see your man do not wait till then if you know just go for it so we can get this draft over and done with and we're not waiting till two o'clock in the morning for your team to be picked and you know who you are y yes yeah, they definitely, definitely know who they are mm -hmm. um the other thing if you're going to be involved in the draft be committed auto picks that is the lazy way of drafting you're that person that's probably out and about still, or you've been taken to do a bit of shopping with your, probably your better half. No, commit, be there, be with the people that are involved in this draft and make sure you get the right players and don't end up with the top picks by fluky picks of having something that's pre-populated. Would you agree with that, guys? You want to be committed? Love what you do or love the one you with. <laughs> you might even end up with a Buffalo wide receiver if there is such a thing. No, yeah. I don't think there is. No, no, yeah. no, no there is no. not. There's no such thing as that. Uh -huh. um, and yeah, one other point for me is all these guys that get involved at the very start, um, they're going to say, yeah, I'm going to be tough, I'm going to beat you, and there's all this bit of banter floating about, and after two or three game weeks that go by, they find themselves at the bottom of the division, they turn into a ghost. They don't pick up your phone, they don't answer your texts, and guess what? They're not involved in the draft anymore, they've got past that, they're not involved in the leagues, they're not doing any waivers, they're not doing any trades because they've disappeared and given up. That could have been down to someone else, and you know what? They'll probably turn up once they get a few wins again. Do not be a ghost, be committed, and stay with us all through the season. No question, as Dr. John said, quitters never win and winners never quit. And this is your man for every quote that you'll have for draft as well, right there. Uh, but for you guys, this is for everything. Maybe mm -hmm. not a don't, but just a, an interesting pick. Obviously, it's a long process sometimes with these drafts. The food's got to be right. No question. Snacks, mm -hmm. the main food. I mean, what would you go for on the draft pick? Well, it's important for me, whatever food that uh, you have, is that who, when you're serving it or people are eating, when they decide to talk and they have food in their mouth, they're not spitting. So whatever food that you know that you can have, when they don't have to do that, then that's the ones I want. All right, okay. <laughs> you know, okay. maybe gum. Okay, you can hold on. <laughs> Just on this, this is Kevin Cadle. These are love hearts. That's what Cadle eats. <laughs> Those are my things. All right. What about you? Mike Carlson's banana bread. Hit me the recipe. It's brilliant. You can't beat it. I've had it, and um, I'm going to question the recipe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably not going to go with the banana bread then on that point. I'm a classic pizza and wings. Do it right. Do it properly. Um, from an English point of view, I can't say any names on who to actually get your pizza from, but make sure it has stuffed crust. That's all I'm saying. All right. sports here don't forget you can subscribe to us on youtube but you can also hit us on twitter instagram we would love to hear from you we're trying to take the program from next level to next level to next level enjoy <laughs>